I just spent several hours working to design the best TNT cannon in Minecraft. Browncoat67 here, and I want to teach you how to build this beautiful monstrosity. The first build is designed and functional in Bedrock Edition, but don't go anywhere Java dudes, I have a small modification that makes it just as fun for you. Before I show you how to build it, I figured you'd like to see it in action. So I went ahead and built our cannon, as well as a range scale that measures 150 blocks away from the cannon. That's the equivalent of 150 meters, or just short of 500 feet. I'm going to use a command to activate it first, then I'll show you with a button. As the cannon fires, you'll see the speed of the TNT projectile is incredible much faster than you would normally see. The TNT ends up leaving its crater right around the 120 to 140 block mark down the range. This first shot here is closer to 120. Let me put that button on and I'll show you again. Alright, this time landing just short of 140 blocks. The range I built was almost too short during my testing. Go ahead and click on the like button so that we can get started. It helps me reach more viewers who might also like to build crazy yet useless things in Minecraft. Alright, we're going to build our own now. So starting right here on the blue line, I'm going to take some obsidian out and I'm going to build five back like so. And I'm going to leave a one block space between two lines of five. And then leaving this block, uh, all the rest of it down here, I'm going to replace with obsidian. Just to be on the careful side. I'm going to switch over to dispensers here, because here I'm going to stack dispensers like so. more obsidian there. You're gonna have to shift click in order to put the top ones on but make sure that they're all facing in towards the middle here. Alright so coming down to the end I'm going to pull out the packed ice and I'm gonna put packed ice here on the last block. This is because in bedrock the ice has an amazing friction. Um, it's much less than it is on regular blocks. As you can see I'm sliding around quite a bit so this is going to let the TNT escape at a higher velocity. Then I'm going to put a ladder right here, uh, the block next to the ice. It's got to be a ladder, don't use a sign or anything like that unless you want your TNT cannon to explode. The ladder works great because TNT is pretty much going to take up the entire one block space here. And if you're too far over, the ladder is not going to let you go anywhere. It's going to stop the TNT right here. Um, allowing the end TNT to explode out with all the force possible from the projectile TNT that we're going to be spawning in down here. Uh, so once you've got this set up, we're just going to come down here and grab our water bucket, place it right here at the end. It's going to stop at the ladder. We're going to take that obsidian back out and we're going to add two blocks like this behind all of these. And we're going to go pull out the redstone dust and I'm gonna line it up here as well as here and here. Going back to the obsidian I'm gonna place obsidian above these two blocks here and then I'm gonna put redstone dust by shift clicking up here like so. And then we're gonna put a button here. We're gonna go ahead and pull out the glass now and we're going to cover up some spaces and you're going to leave this block here because this is going to be a dispenser. And then glass. Cover all of it with glass. You especially in bedrock want to make sure you have this piece here. You don't want the TNT to explode upward at all. You want it to be exploding outward. Alright, so now we're going to add on the redstone for the last dispenser down here. So right from this block I'm going to put a um, repeater and then another one. These are both maxed out and you're going to put redstone dust 
and then you're going to put six more repeaters that are maxed out. Just like that. Down here at the end, we're going to add some blocks here because we're going to want the redstone to travel up to the dispenser. Make sure that you are you. Oop, I am one short. Perfect. Make sure you have six dispensers here and then two down there. You want a total of eight of them that are completely maxed out. The timing on this is uh, important because if you don't have enough of a delay, that TNT is going to get spawned out too early and it's going to explode before it gets to its destination. Put a little bit there. Perfect. Now all we need to do is load in some TNT. Here we go. You need seven stacks. So you're going to come up in here and I recommend flying in creative mode because otherwise the water is going to push you back. And you're going to put one stack in all these. You can of course fill them up. Whatever you want to do. I just... You know, stop it. Gosh darn it. I am silly. I am a silly goose. What a silly thing to do. Okay, did I get all the bottom ones? Yes, okay. So now, put that one in there. Put that one in there. Put that one in there. And then I'm going to come down here. See, that ladder stopped me from coming out. That's why we're using the ladder. Alright, and then put one in there. So now, everything should be fully operational. TNT, it stops right there at the ladder. Perfect. Oh yeah. Very nice. Very nice. And that's how it's done. Now if you're playing on Java Edition and you try using the same build, you're going to end up a little disappointed. But, break the front glass here on the top, as well as the ladder, and then place the ladder directly on the ice beneath the dispenser. As you can see down range, you'll have much better luck. You're also going to want to add one more repeater that's maxed out so you have a total of nine as opposed to eight. That one shot so far, it didn't even explode on the ground. Holy smokes. If you like this TNT cannon, check out this other video where I built a starship using the same TNT cannon. <laughs> it's sweet. Alright everybody, this is Browncode67 and I'll catch you next time.